it has started. The first person to break open the saw is Josh from JK Saw Shop. This is the Husky 51 that he's built. He says it's mediocre. <laughs> hey, how David. you doing? Mountain life with David and Kelsey. Oh, hey, hey, what's going on? So you're you're Kelsey, that, right? Did you get it? <laughs> huh? Did you get your saw? Yeah, this is at 266. I have yeah, it's just mediocre. Ah, oh, it runs good, man. Runs very good. You say it'll do 13,000 in the cut? It did. Uh, it did. It did with race change. Uh, I got gotcha. you. That's brand new chain. Yeah. What kind? Steel chain. Yeah, steel. It's just very handy. I got you. I got you. Well, it runs good, man. And you said you're not even running a uh, a, a key in it at all, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's see what he's got. about it it's a husky 266 i picked up i traded two quarter wood for it uh one of the guys i sell wood to had it and he was never going to use it as a fresh rebuild just threw a new husky lightweight bar on it 28 28 inch what's the chain uh full skip uh round hand file steel uh i think this one is a steel yeah, this one's a steel. Uh, Alright. Steel and husky. So. Sweet and saw. <laughs> this is what we got going on. I guess we're going to go to a different location this evening, I think. I don't know what that's going to be like. There's old Dan. Ed, tell us what your hey, channel is, brother. Square jig. Square jig. That's what, that's what I sell, the square jig, uh, square grinder. And uh, you can get it at squarejig.com. All right, cool, man. We'll yeah. go over there and check it out at some point. Yeah. Dan, say hi to everybody. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to get here? Ah, uh, like three hours, something like that. Is that R uh, RSX? Is that turboed? No. Oh, come on, man. Hell no. I noticed it was an automatic. I'm disappointed uh -huh. in you with that. <laughs> I got it up to like 110. Yeah? Come yeah. out of here. <laughs> does it have a limiter? Yeah. Kick you out? No? If it does, it's not at 110, it'll yeah. go higher than that, huh? Yeah, the speedo goes up to 140, so. Uh, I don't know. Kevin. 
Kevin, say hi. Is, hey, hi everybody. Hey. <laughs> Peter Frampton's here, ready to go? He is. Let's go get him. Yeah. It's quite lovely country out here. I think this is uh, Kenny or Mama Taz's parents' place. I think, not sure. But, uh, man, it's beautiful. Are you making any money about it? Yeah. Give me a second, we'll talk about it. This is beautiful up here. All this soft wood to cut on. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? This is hardwood, son. <laughs> yeah, sure it is. <laughs> familiar with the Bellamy brothers? Uh -uh. Give me a, give me a, give me a redneck girl. <laughs> Is it an Oregon? I think, I think so. Yeah, it's got 
corners knocked off. Yeah, that was like the slowest 500 i video ever. <laughs> 661. It just wasn't digging. Just wasn't getting. Oh, 661. Touch it up and then then we'll get get her going. Don't try it. 
That's awesome. That is really awesome. That is powerful. My goodness. Beautiful. How many horsepower you reckon that thing produces? God. This is just awesome. The Spokane River. Very cool. Okay, to round out this video, I am in Manitou Park, I believe is what it is. Manitou. I want to say Manitoba, but... I think that's wrong. I think it's Manitou Park here in Spokane. It's right before I head to the airport. I had some time this morning to explore a little bit in Spokane and, and, and check out some stuff. It's just a beautiful park. And uh, lots of big, appears to be ponderosa pines, you know? Nice big ones, like uh, that one right there at its base. It's probably about 30 inches. Beautiful trees whenever you actually let them get big. But uh, in my experience, it seems to be ponderosa pines usually get cut down pretty quickly. From what I've seen, you know, uh, maybe they're farmed a lot. I know that our loblollies down in the south they're farmed and they're cut down about every 20 years. So they never, they're, they rarely, unless it's on private property that isn't being farmed, they rarely are allowed to get real big. These are some nice, big, lovely, uh, you know, ponderosas. These are the biggest, some of the biggest I've seen. Uh, beautiful, crisp morning. It's probably about 60 degrees. And um, in a park like this, you know, there's lots of shade. Because, I mean, you know, ponderosas don't provide good shade, but whenever there's hundreds of them, hey, you get some shade. And it's nice, it's lovely. And uh, this trip has been really fun. I am uh, particularly glad that I came. Uh, it would cost a lot to get out here. You know, I've wasted probably about $1,200 or slightly more between the ticket rental car all that jazz but it was well worth it um big thanks to tasman kenny fuller uh, for putting on the event it was fun we had a good time and and as seems to be the uh general experience what i have in dealing with going to these get-togethers and meeting folks that are into this hobby um again the people outrageously good you know uh i guess you know assholes don't show up to the events they just stay at home and type on their keyboard yeah <laughs> you know and it, it, it's pretty fantastic got to meet a lot of people that you know i definitely would have never met um Really, you know, I, so I want to do another video that will be story time about Tazapalooza, and I'll I'll give you the real dirt, but quick and dirty. And what I mean by that, there was, there was some funny stories that I have to share, and uh, you know, I wish I would have been able to catch a lot of them on video, but it just doesn't work out that way. Um, 
you can't be filming all the time whenever you're a one-man crew you know you just can't catch all that stuff i really wish i had gotten some better footage or some real footage of me off-roading in the challenger uh brand new rental challenger and i took it to the top of the mountain brothers <laughs> um but oh there's a cottonwood it looks like cottonwoods seem to be big out in the west and what by big they're always big but what i mean by that is there's a lot of them i think this is a cottonwood right here got that really gnarly bark mm, i don't know Tell me if it's a cottonwood, guys. It may be, maybe not. But uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to sit down right here and do another quick video um, to help out Walt. He's a viewer of the channel down in Australia. Or maybe it's New Zealand. I think it's Australia. He's porting a uh, Poland 3700. And I've been talking with him through email and trying to give him some tips. But, uh, but but shout out to a few of the people who um, were real standouts in my in my mind of being there. Uh, spent a lot of time hanging out with Kevin McEddy from, uh, he's got a channel, the Chainsaw Canuck. Really good guy. Uh, fun to hang out with. Just, just fun to hang out with, you know. Just sit there and talk. I'm a real blabbermouth. And uh, he was ears open. You know, that's always fun for us people who like to talk a lot to have a captive audience. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, he had plenty of good input and good stories to talk about. We talked about the difference in beer. I guess beer is really cheap here versus in Canada. And um, uh, talked about some guns. And, of course, we talked about chainsaws a lot. So it was cool to meet him and actually actually get to interact with him. Uh, the other, another cool guy, uh, JK Saw's Shop. He's got a channel. He's got a lot of good information. If you're wanting to work on your own saws, he really helps out and does, puts a lot of good content out. He had a really nice, uh, hot little, uh, Husky, I think it was a 51, but it might've been a 55. Same thing, right? Um, really ran well. And, uh, you know, his channel, I've watched a considerable amount of his videos and uh, you know he's kind of straightforward to the point tells what it is as he sees it you know that's all we can do right and um, good solid stuff but in person oh man he was cool you know I mean he was he was fun to hang around with and talk to really enjoyed him and uh, last night he was really enjoying himself. <laughs> That's part of the stories I want to tell. Um, he did eat one of those, um, I think they're called ghost pepper chips, something like that, you know. Uh, uh, um, John Arnett brought a bunch of those. They tried to get me to eat them. I was like, nope, that ain't happening. I want to have bowels. <laughs> I want to keep them functioning and not bleed. <laughs> sorry no i am not about that super hot stuff john is always cool and i mean a lot of people in the community have met him he he gets around right and uh, and very very good guy kenny good guy really was really good guy just just a straight up solid people man um uh another one ed there's i, I don't know his last name but he does the um uh, square jig. Uh, I think he, I, I haven't looked up his channel yet. I haven't had time to. I've never seen it. This is the first time I had been introduced to him and his whole shtick. Uh, but what he does is he makes these jigs to go on a, a normal um, Oregon grinder, chain grinder so that you can actually do square filing on a normal grinder and you have the op that option of doing square grinds without spending the big pricey money for a uh, Symington or Symington however you want to say it and I saw him using it uh, it it worked really well uh, so 
it looks like he's going to be hooking me up with one of those for the channel so I can get him some exposure because he does sell that product and uh, he's wanting to get the word out there. So that's cool. Uh, he was really cool. I've got another fun story about him too. And um, uh, David and Kelsey, uh, Mountain Life with David and Kelsey, that's their channel. Really solid folks. I really liked that guy and she was just sweetheart. Um, and she's getting right in there using the chainsaw. I think I got some footage of her uh, dropping a small ponderosa pine. And uh, it was really cool. Um, another guy named Brennan, he's got a channel too. I'm not so sure about it, what it's called or anything. He was a cool guy. But every, everybody was solid, you know. Everybody was solid. And if I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry. I, there was not a single person there that I was like, oh, this guy again. Oh, Dan Kane. Dan Kane is a cool guy. I like that guy. <laughs> you know, and he, he said, uh, you know, to straight up fair and honest, I'm really not that big of a guy. I'm just tall. And uh, I'm about 6'2 and with these boots on. You know, probably people see me as 6'3 or something like that. But uh, he came over. He, shot, he came right up to me and gave me a big hug. And... Uh, you know, Dan, he's got this uh, way of talking, you know, <laughs> right? And I was like, hey, Dan, how you doing, you know? And he goes, hey, man, you're a lot bigger than I thought you'd be. <laughs> Just remember that that's the first thing out of his mouth. <laughs> it was funny. So I had a great time uh, hanging out, got to run some really cool saws, but I didn't have any of my saws there. You know, I flew in, I couldn't bring anything. Um, but it was really enjoyable. If you guys have the opportunity to go to any get together, do it uh, because chainsaws is really honestly just such an obscure hobby. You know, uh, probably 90% of the people who use them on a regular basis, they're just a tool and they they break out their tool to get that job done and that's it but for those of us that are trying to get more performance out of them get a better grind on our chains and uh and just really enjoy the visceral feel of running chainsaws it just does something to us you know whenever you get a chance to talk with like-minded people it, it's rare and and so i would absolutely encourage you to do that get out there meet some people in the hobby and enjoy it so far i've had no bad experiences in meeting people um and and it's cool it's fun beautiful place that place we were at uh, for the bulk of the day was uh kenny's in-laws i think yeah i think that's what it was and their property is just stunning um the they're building a house and it's going to overlook uh this valley and on the other side of the valley is that nice beautiful sheer almost sheer um mountain face that they get to look at every day it's beautiful and so great experience glad to be out here glad to have been welcomed with open arms by so many people um mama Cass was a sweetheart absolutely everybody it was, it was great you know it was great had a good time and uh so signing off i'll be heading to the airport soon right after i do another video here uh talking about port work for a poland 70 uh 3700 later